Hey everyone, welcome back to Persona 5. Ah, we are gonna... No, not about my... Ugh. It begins already. We're just going on to the next day here. Okay. Can't wait to see what the look of Nijima's face when the trial... T okay. Again, it's really already starting. Holy crap. Wow, she's in for a surprise. Let's put it that way. The, the, great start, everyone. Hopefully this doesn't get worse as we go. <laughs> I had a dream where I was trying to bargain with some poker dealer all night. I feel like I gained a bit more knowledge. What the hell is this shit? What the hell is this shit? Where was this random stat boost at night uh, through the rest of the game here? What is this? Oh, suddenly I feel robbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, we have to go uh, slip into the courtroom and get Sai to notice that we're there so we can get into the uh, the high stakes uh, part of the casino in her palace. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna get asked a question, aren't we? This country has been getting dangerous, and peace had been our only redeeming fact feature. Really, that's the only redeeming feature was peace here? You know, actually, that sounds that I I'm not I'm just, I'm not even gonna touch that one. Let's just leave that as it is. Phantom thieves should target somewhere bigger. You know, more global, not this tiny island country. Well, they have their work cut out for them. They go to the states, or you know, Russia, or any other large company. Com company? Wow. Countries are no companies, people. What, what the hell is this? Shadow run? Jesus. Oh, uh, look, uh, oh, I, I don't know, this Casino City Las Vegas or something? Why does it always have to do with what we're doing in our palaces? Like, seriously? Every single time now, this is more than coincidence, come on. Like, somebody has to clue into the fact that that's always the case. Please let somebody clue into that. It was like a dream when I went there. <laughs> oh, I might not look it, but I'm good at card games. The four suits of cards all symbolize something. By the way, Mr. Marr, look at this. How about you? What? Alright, clubs is a club, diamonds is a gem, spades is a sword, so what's the hearts? Oh. I I actually know this. It's the grail. Cups is uh, also what it's referred to as. Yep. This is it. Excellent. Of course. Yeah, the answer is the Holy Grail. The heart was originally drawn as a cup. Okay, so the saint part of that I would not have uh, uh, would not have got. Uh, I actually, what the what they all sort of uh, symbolize here, the Holy Grail being a saint, gem being a merchant, club being a peasant. I would never have. Uh, I don't remember those to be honest. Actually, I. I knew the the sword is a knight though. That's uh, old uh, old school card sets and even also uh, tarot cards for uh, uh, for for um, uh, some tarot decks. They actually use those uh, like swords uh, swords, I believe, coins or pence, something like that, and uh, staves. And I can't remember the other one. It's been way too long. But yeah, uh, they say suits also represent classes of people. The rulers of the Holy Grail are clergymen. However, there are cards that belong to no class. In other words, they have no suit. Wow, really? Yeah, obligatory. Everyone thinks I'm smart. All right. Ah, the only card without a suit is the Joker. Some theories say it originates from the Fool in tarot decks, but uh, no one knows where it really came from. However. Both are trump cards that can bring about unexpected effects. How you use them is critical. Yeah, it's almost like they're the wild card or something. Yeah. Here it is, Joker. Pretty good name, if, you don't, if I don't say so myself. I kind of wish I'd given myself a cooler name. Let's not bring up that she might actually be named after a uh, uh, famous, like, painting. Well, here we go. So this is what the courtroom is like. I sigh. 
Now, if one of them just kind of waves at her, I will... I'll... I'll I'm leaving. <laughs> just being here causes my body to tense up. I'm shocked that Mijuma-san can think of somewhere this solemn as a casino. It's probably less of the fact of a casino and more of the stakes involved, the high stakes. That I can actually understand the parallel to. So Makoto Sis is that lady who's overflowing with the aura of a capable woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yup, that sounds like her. By the way, what's this trial about? A politician who decided to make personal use of government funds? Yeah, that's uh, it's always a great thing to have your politicians do. I read about that in a magazine. He went on a vacation with his mistress to some fancy hot springs. Aren't politicians supposed to be loaded? Why do you mess with our tax money? So he doesn't have to spend his own. He's a greedy. <laughs> oh man. Now I actually wonder how closely based on reality this uh, conversation actually is, because I'm <laughs> the unfortunate state of the world. This sort of stuff actually does happen. I don't personally know of any um, uh, specific uh, instances of this, but like I've heard of stuff like this in the past going on, and uh, they always cause somewhat of a scandal. So I wonder if there's any one in particular that this one is is based on. That sounds like he wow. Well, that's just I honestly I don't like any of these uh, answers. Oh, that's just how they are. Is kind of a general assumption. Same with this. Not all corrupt. Uh, they're not all corrupt. Although it was that old saying, "Absolute power corrupts absolutely," sort of thing. But uh, I don't like any of these. But at least along the lines of uh, our phantom thieves here. Other people's cash is a total no-go. This may sound odd, but isn't Mijima-san supposed to be busy with our investigation? This is her day job. Does she really have time to be coming to a trial like this? Supposedly, she was on this case before being assigned to the Phantom Thieves. Normally, another prosecutor would take her place, but... Sai-san can be a bit of a perfectionist. Hey, how are we gonna get Mijima-san to notice us? Don't wave at her. Did you tell her we'd be coming? I don't think she read the message, though. Oh, she did. Look at that. Do we have a backup plan? Not exactly. But I'm sure she'll notice us eventually. Yeah, anytime she decides to look out, we're kind of uh, literally in the front row. Oh, well, there we go. We've been noticed. Hmm? I noticed a lot of students here, but is that a Ketchikun? And Makoto? Now that I think about it, there was a message about her coming. Oh, there we go. She still looks so shocked. That doesn't matter for now. See? It's almost time to begin. All right. Nijima can see now that we're allowed in the courtroom. This should let us enter that high limit thingamajig. Let's head over to her palace once the trial's over. That high limit thingamajig. I like the fact that she actually said, or he actually said, thingamajig. Stay in the bag, damn it! <laughs> yeah, we're not bringing a cat into the courtroom. Come on. Also, how Morgana could uh, talk loud enough for us all to hear without anyone else going, Is that meowing? Oh, I, yeah, I guess they didn't give us much choice. We're right back into the palace. In that case, let's get to the... Where are we going here? Is it this one? Yeah, the member's floor. Okay. Alright. Let's get back into the swing of things. Oh yeah, we can pick up some more, uh, some more random items. A single random item. I'm not going through the rest of the places. Select your desired floor. Alright guy, open the doors and let us through. What is this high stakes floor all about? Yeah. 
Yeah, ah, the door that was blocking her path's gone now. So this is what cognitive control looks like. Dude, if this stuff's still surprising you, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt from here on. <laughs> That's still a little hard to believe, I must admit. Look, there's a counter up ahead. Shall we head there first? I suppose there would be no issue in stopping by. Let's go. I have something. Let's take a quick look around here. I can feel it. Is there a safe room nearby? Did it yeah, it? let's get the safe room first. <laughs> All right. I like how it says the high limit floor there. And I believe our, uh, where's our key item? Um, uh, map, high limit card again, high limit, high limit, high limit lobby. And yet, the sign above the elevator here, high rate floor. I think something may have been missed in translation, perhaps? <laughs> All right, let's. Focus. Oop. I can feel it. I can see it. We got ourselves apparently some life stones. I was hoping for uh, sellables or something like that. More coins. More coins. Beautiful. All right, what do you have here? Welcome to the High Limit Floor, a proverbial gambling paradise. First off, we would like to extend a welcome gift to you. Oh, great. Giving us coins this time, too. Just 1,000, though? At least give each person that much cheapskate. <laughs> How do you know they didn't uh, give us a little bit of coins per person to equal 1,000 uh, there? Actually, they definitely didn't. We only have one member's card. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but uh, the welcome gift can only be applied once per card. Oh, there we go, see? Furthermore, this is the map for the high limit floor. New map. There we go. Okay, show us your prizes now. We want to exchange our coins for member's card. <laughs> uh, we do have prizes, uh, but that is unfortunately not one of them. How do you mean? What? And how are we supposed to get up to the manager's floor? Oh, I assure you, there is no need for a card. Please, head over there. This sounds suspicious. Well, we cannot proceed unless we check it out. Why don't we head over there for the time being? Yeah, let's find out the uh, restriction placed on us here. You must have X amount of coins to, to produce... To preserve. Wow. Yeah, you must have X amount of coins to actually be able to speak properly. I'm fucked. <laughs> I see a locked chest. B chain and a sapphire. Oh well. Ooh. Iranya. That's nice. Isn't that? Hmm. A scale, or is it a bridge? Maybe it's a scale-shaped bridge. Maybe we just put all the uh, the uh, all the possibilities together and make our own. There's an area over on the other side too that could lead to the manager's floor. Mm. Yeah, that can be no bout. No bout. Wow. Holy crap! We'll need to lower the bridge to cross. But how do we do that? How oh, indeed? Well, let's try investigating around here. I don't know. Maybe we should check the authentication device right beside us. Authenticating member's card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000. Hey, look at that! You need X amount of coins to proceed to the manager's floor. Huh? What? You need 100,000 coins just to cross over there? Uh, it's getting clear that she has no intention of letting us proceed onward. I don't believe there's any need for uh, pessimism, though. Uh, think about how much th that is. You know, we were desperate just to get our hands on 50,000. Yeah, now we need twice that. But we still obtained them in the end. We can see that we do that again. 
Oh, then double our total. I suppose this is the high limit floor. Indeed, there must be a high risk, high return game somewhere here, though. Uh, or we'll need to win that, too. Oh, our first order of business should be to see what kind of games exist on this floor. Actually, I think my first priority would be learn how to speak properly. But then again, 186 episodes in, I'm still screwing up. Yeah, I don't think it's going to change anytime, uh, anytime soon. Well, okay, so what do we have here, anyway? Joker. Um, or we can just go see what things are available instead of looking to what we can get with our coins. Focus. Wow. The Battle Arena. Welcome to the Battle Arena, the internal fighting ground where the embers of life glow bright. Really? Well, why not? Uh, it's you guys. Our manager told us about you. Uh, the hell have you been hearing about us? Oh, you're so quick to anger. Wonderful. This would be quite boring if that wasn't the case. Now, allow me to confirm something before I begin explaining. Do you currently have 10,000 coins? No. Oh, that won't do at all. This is out of the question if you don't have enough to, uh, for the entry fee. Wow, now listen up. Come back here once you have that amount. Hm. Seems this game requires a participation fee. Oh well, we need to play the, by the rules, so let's go find somewhere we can ne get the necessary coins. 10,000 coins. Hey, look at this. This is probably a safe room. Of the cognitive world is weak here. Dice shaker. Incomplete deck. Again, that's what we want to find in our casinos. So we have another safe room here. We might as well just unlock that. It's safe. All right. So let's not go into there again. What do we have down here? The House of Darkness! Oh, great! Welcome to the House of Darkness, our puzzling labyrinth in the dark. Oh, you better not be looking for a fight. We ain't interested. <laughs> well, that won't be necessary. You are valuable participants, after all. Participants? Most certainly. The original intent behind the High Limit floor is different from that of the others. On this floor, VIPs are encouraged to send substitutes to compete in the games in their place. Consider it to be like horses and not horse racing. However, it seems you have no substitutes. Of course we don't. That should be obvious. Indeed it is. Hence, you'll be the vital participants in these games. Great. So, we basically need to be our own substitutes. Or... You know, we just participate ourselves as opposed to being a substitute for anyone else. Why are why are you guys talking and wording it in such weird ways? It sounds perfect to me. Really, it does? That's way better than spectating, I suppose. Splendid. Now let me do, now allow me to explain the rules. A straightforward maze lies directly ahead of you. A, yeah, a straightforward maze. Yeah, I somehow doubt that. I suggest you exercise utmost caution within, as the lighting is dimmed quite heavily. Your entry fee into this maze will be 1,000 coins. But, if you can manage to reach the goal well, you'll obtain 10 times that amount. Oh, so we'll get 10,000 just by beating this. I guess that's how we're going to get into the battle arena. Yeah, that's that simple math there, Haru. Oh, it is no wonder they call this a high limit floor. I doubt the maze will be as simple as it sounds. Mazes are generally not simple to begin with. Um... What the hell, let's start. One more thing. You're free to head backwards uh, in the maze or even leave the room if you so choose. Well then, please enjoy. The effects of cognition are low here. Is there a safe room nearby? There is a safe room nearby. You are registered for the uh, maze. Please proceed on. Okay, they already took our uh, total, so. Hmm. Alright. 
Uh, hmm. I'm kind of torn because right now I'm seeing that we are very clearly. Feel it. Uh, well, very clearly. Speaking in me again, my thoughts aren't being finished. We're at about 20 minutes as it is, and I doubt it's going to take me 10 minutes uh, or so to get through this maze. Just considering we're about to, we're only starting it now. So I honestly, I think I'm going to cut this episode just a little bit short. This is a and uh, we will continue the House of Darkness, as it were, next time. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you'll come back to see how bad this maze actually is. So until next time, take care, you hear?